This week's program continues with the contribution of an individual whose knowledge and experience in his field is distinct and most treasured. He is indeed an institutional memory for the sugar industry. Sweet Stories is the segment of our program which takes you, our viewers, a little further into the lives of the people associated with sugar, highlighting their challenges, sources of strength, victories and commitment to sugar. I had the privilege of interviewing our Human Resources Director who joined the sugar industry in 1958 as a cadet. This was enlightening since Mr. Earl John has a wealth of knowledge and a barrage of stories to share about life in general and his encounter within the sugar industry. This qualifies Mr. John to be a well-suited candidate to be featured on Sweet Stories. I present Mr. Earl B. John. I'm probably the oldest journalist in the country. I started doing broadcast from Queen's College. I think I mentioned this before. Well, um, and, um, and then I was a broadcasting officer in the Government Information Services under Arthur Seymour. And I used to produce programs too. Um, in those days it was only radio. But I used to produce the programs and have people read my scripts. I used to write the scripts. Mostly on agriculture. It was called Rural Notebook. And then I used to produce a program called Poetry I Like. Um, I write poetry myself. I have a, a book coming out. I think most people recognize by now who know me. I'm a compulsive writer, you know, and, um, and um, I'm interested in art. That was a discovery I, I, I've always been glad for. Mr. John shares one of his memories of school days. You had to take a minimum of certain subjects I can't remember. In those days, if you pass your subjects and fail English, you fail the whole exam. That was it. <laughs> um, and uh, so I took scripture because I didn't have to study for it. I used to go to Sunday school and I was very embarrassed when I got a distinction in it because just the Sunday school, I had, which I had long forgotten. The people-oriented director has always been self-motivating and striving for excellence. Mr. John recalls one instance where he sought to set high standards for himself. I went to the Ministry of Communication and Works and that really started me because the permanent secretary there used to grade my work. The first submission I made in Haiti graded me A. I kept a copy of it on my desk and said I would never get less than A again. And he taught me to compete with myself. Mr. John is grateful that he has been able to nurture individuals to the point that they realize their true potential. I've spent a lot of time genuinely just nurturing people and helping them to grow. You know, and a lot of them have grown way past me, but that's the satisfaction I get. You don't limit yourself to any box. You all grow it uh, as a person. And um, it's a simple philosophy of giving as much as you can give to anybody in sight. Um, and the more you add value to other people, the better you feel about yourself. And I've been doing that in and out of show. Many have been fortunate to develop through the influence of Mr. John. However, this was lacking in his own life. The fact, perhaps, that I had to help myself, I had nobody to help me. And, um, and I took the view that Nobody should go through what I go through if I could help it. You know, it was as simple as that. While the well-learned John has succeeded in almost every area of his life, he does not limit himself to being defined only by his accomplishments. When people say, I am so-and-so, I envy them because I've never been able to define myself and limit myself to being so-and-so. It's a continuous search. As we end this segment, Mr. John shares one of the habits he developed and views as one that every individual should adopt. 
The other idiosyncrasy, if you call, if you will, but I recommend it to anybody, is don't stop learning. I'm doing this now, but I'm learning from you. Every situation for me has a learning component in it. Every interaction for me. Uh, and that is what en energizes me, I think, and keeps me going. Thank you, Mr. John, for sharing with us. And best wishes on your future endeavors. Maya Angelo said, when you give cheerfully and accept gratefully, everyone is blessed. Join us for more stories next week right here on Sweet Stories. Sure.